Hi everyone, Dom Designs here and welcome back to another Adobe Illustrator drawing tutorial. In today's video, I will teach you how to illustrate a 3D vector burger icon. Before we begin, if you're new to the channel and you're interested in Adobe Illustrator process videos and tutorials, then please consider subscribing to the channel and hitting the bell icon so you don't miss my weekly uploads. Alright, so let's dive into this project. We will be using tools that are fairly new to Illustrator in this video. Also, keep in mind that this tutorial is a little more challenging and requires some basic Adobe Illustrator knowledge. For starters, I have already created a sketch and picked out the color palette for the illustration. I will leave the color codes in the description below for you to copy. As for the sketch, you can either take a screenshot of mine or attempt to create your own burger drawing. Alright, so now that we have the colors picked out, I'm going to add them to my swatches palette. I will also want to create some group swatches. So, for example, I will select the first row of brown colors and click on the little folder icon here to add them to my swatches and create its own individual folder. I will separate the folders in terms of ingredients. Next, I will bring in my burger sketch and center it to my canvas. Note, I am using a 1080p by 1080p document. Make sure to turn it into a template afterwards and dim down its opacity. We will then create six new layers and name them by ingredients going from top to bottom. For example, the first will be the top bun, the tomato, cheese, patty, lettuce, and finally the bottom bun. Perfect, so we're now ready to begin the drawing. I will begin by drawing the basic shapes on each individual layer starting from the top bun. For the top bun, I will combine two ovals and use the shape builder tool. And then I will round off the corners. I will then head over to the tomato layer and draw a simple oval to represent the tomato. Then, let's create the cheese using the pen tool. I will curve the side strokes using the curvature tool. I will then reflect the shape to the right by using the reflect tool which is O on your keyboard. Make sure to option click at the center to make sure your reflection is perfect. You can then combine the shapes using the pathfinder and clicking on unite. Finally, don't forget to round off your corners. For the patty, I will use another oval. And moving on to the lettuce, I will use a combination of the pen tool and curvature tool and like before, I will reflect it to the right side. Make sure that all your shapes are closed. Finally, the bottom bun I will use an oval, cut it in half and finish it off with the pen tool. Great, now that we have the shapes completed, let's use our swatches and give them their base colors, one by one. All 
All right, so we're done the easy part. We will now be adding shadows and highlights to the burger by using the gradients. So let's begin with the top bun. I'll select it and go to the gradient panel. We have three options to choose from here. First we have the linear gradient, second is the radial gradient, and third is what we will be using which is the freeform gradient. With the freeform gradient we can create points by simply clicking anywhere within the shape. And then we can assign each point a different color, creating a seamless gradient. Let's keep in mind that the light source for my image will come from the left side, so naturally I'll select a lighter color from my swatches. And then simply add a mix of different darker swatches on the right side until you get something like this. Great, so to finalize the bun, I will add a subtle highlight going along the bottom of the bun. What we will do is duplicate the bun by option dragging a copy to the right side like this. I will then turn it black and create a copy next to it. Let's go back to the first copy and remove the fill and add our lighter beige color from our swatches as a stroke color. Now since we only want the bottom part, I will use a direct selection tool and click on the points I want to delete, leaving us with the bottom curve. I will then make sure that this curve is thicker in the middle using the width tool. Next, I will align it to the center and go to the effect menu at the top and give it a Gaussian blur. Let's move it back to the right and place our third copy on it and create a clipping mask. We can then move over the shape to the center of the bun and play around with the opacity. Let's move on to the tomato. For this, I'll drag a copy of the oval upwards and give the bottom oval a dark red color. I'll then select the top oval and give it a radial gradient going from dark to light red. Next would be the cheese layer. I will do a copy and paste in place twice to create three cheese shapes. I will then move the top shape upwards, creating a gap going along the bottom. Using the shape builder, I will delete the shape and give that bottom shape a dark orange color. Finally, let's select the cheese shape and give it a freeform gradient, and then apply some colors to the points going from light to dark. Perfect, so for the patty you know the drill. Just select the shape and apply a freeform gradient, and just add some points and give them colors from the swatches. To finalize it, I'll add some extra dark circles. Moving on to the lettuce. So for this, I'll do the same as the cheese, I will do a copy and paste in place twice. I will then select the top two shapes and use the shape builder tool to create this gap going along the bottom. I will then give the shape a light green color.
Now we're going to want to blur this bottom shape. So we will do the same steps as we did for the top button. Turn the shape into a stroke and cut off the top part. Make the stroke thicker and give it a tapered effect. Center it back to the image. And go to the effect menu and give it a Gaussian blur. Let's bring it to the side and drag a copy of the lettuce as well. Place the lettuce on top of the blur, creating a clipping mask. And finally, place it back to the center of the drawing. Let's complete the bottom bun using what we learned. Alright, so we're almost done here. What we're missing is a few shadows going over each ingredient. Let me show you what I mean. Let's drag and copy the main lettuce shape and the bottom bun. I'm then going to select the lettuce and drag it down to the bun layer. So both shapes can be on the same layer. Next, we will go to the effect layer and give it a drop shadow. Make sure your mode is set to soft light and a black color and then just play with the units until you get something like this. So since our drop shadow goes towards the sides as well, we are going to need to create a clipping mask. I will select the bun layer and arrange it to the front, and then selecting both shapes, I will create a clipping mask. And then simply center it back to the illustration. So we're basically going to follow these exact steps for each ingredient. All that's left is adding a few sesame seeds to the bun. I'll simply create ovals with a subtle gradient and give it a drop shadow. Then I'll duplicate them around the bun. And there you have it everyone, this is how to draw a 3D burger vector icon in Adobe Illustrator. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and looking forward to hearing your thoughts in the comments below. Cheers everyone!